What's up guys? We are out here for day one of sick week. We're out in the Platyce. She is fully charged, ready to go. Wise out here as well with the Corolla getting stuff ready. And you guys know the deal. We have been doing this for like the last three years and this is our first time doing it in an electric vehicle. So probably the first and last time I do it, but I figured it'd be cool to try out and see how far we can make it in the Platyce here. I know some of you guys would probably like to see me take one of my other vehicles like even Wago or the Hatch or the Radice. I was actually going to take the Radice last minute, but I didn't think we'd have enough time to get the transmission fixed. And I know this event is definitely suited for the gas guzzling cars and the wrenching and all that is kind of part of the journey. But I had the Platyce up and running. I've been loving this thing. I hope you guys will enjoy the uh, sick week series we put out. And we're gonna try to post almost every day here. So we are out here just about ready to go. Everyone's getting set up here and they're gonna start racing here soon. And we're just excited to be a part of it, boys. So let's do it. Our backup plan just arrived. Our boy James came through and brought me the generator from his race trailer. This is a Predator 9000. We have a Predator 5000 at the house, but I don't even think it'd be worth bringing. This should supply quite a bit more juice. It does 240 volt at up to 30 amps. And I don't even know this is gonna work, but we got it plugged in here. I had to order some adapters off Amazon to plug into his generator here. And before we unload this thing, we're gonna make sure that it will even charge. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and plug it into the Tesla make sure it works so if it does charge it should charge it probably a good like 16 to 17 miles worth of range an hour so if we do have an emergency where we're almost to a charging station and we want to try to push it to make it there we can be confident that at least we won't be stranded we can fire this thing up and make it the rest of the way or if we just you know get stranded anywhere we at least have a backup solution here and no one has to come save us hopefully so let's go ahead and fire her up see what this puppy can do It is charging guys. So right now we're up to about six miles an hour. It's really jumpy right now. Hopefully the, the generator should try to match what the car is demanding here in a second and it should flatten out. At least that's what I've seen online from YouTube videos. The amps are slowly climbing up. I don't know why it's jumping back and forth so much, but just get, oh yeah, I just heard the generator load up. There she is, dude, 20 miles an hour. That is pretty good. We're not even at the full uh, 32 amps yet. Oh, 24. 24 miles an hour. 25. 26. Dang, dude. Dude, we're going to be solid. Maybe we can plug it in while we drive around and we can go forever. <laughs> if only we could do it that way. Dude, hell yeah. Thank you, James. This thing is going to work so good. Oh yeah, we're at a solid 26 miles an hour right now, charge rate at 240 volts, charging at 34 amps. Hell yeah. Go ahead and shut her down. Let's get that thing loaded up. We're good now. We can go anywhere. Yeah. Dude, 26 miles of charge an hour. That's a lot. That'll take us very far if we get stranded, so. I'm confident. At first I was kind of like, I had some like range anxiety, but <laughs> dude, with this sucker in the back, we are good to go, boys. Huge shout out to James for this one. I wanted to show you guys this MR2 over here. This belongs to Lou. And this is actually the same MR2 that we saw a while back when we were getting the wing built for my MR2 over at Falcon's place. He was getting the paint and body work done over there. And now this thing is turbo. Just ran your first nine, I heard. I did, I did. And he is out here at Sick Week with a trailer on the MR2. I love to see it. I'd love to bring my MR2 out here, but I think she's a little too race car now. I think so too, yep. But this car's come so far and it's awesome to see it out here. It's really clean, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice setup back here. Got the K-Swap in the back. The cooler's in the back. Oh, nice, nice. Inner cooler back there. And I'm assuming you just got that 10 gallon fuel cell in the front. I do. Like all the other MR2 yeah, people. I did a little differently. I think it's sort of overkill because Sometimes, I, at one point, maybe I want to road oh, race it. So I did the. Um, got the radium. Uh, the radium is that surge the tank. Surge tank, yeah. And that's I have a nice three setup. Pumps. I don't really use three pumps yet, but. Got this thing to do any good wheelies yet? Um. You're about at that power now. Yes. So we're trying to keep it down from doing wheelies, but yeah, I think uh, it did like a like a four inch wheelie, but then the slipper is pretty good. It just brings it back down. Okay. 
Yeah, be careful about that. <laughs> Turn yes, it up. Yes. It'll yes. it'll surprise you if you're not ready for it. <laughs> exactly. Ask me how I know. Yes, I know. You went yeah. all the way up on yours. You went yeah. all the way up. <laughs> I still got a mark on the back bumper from that one. That's cool. It's a pretty good sized trailer for a Honda setup to be towing. Yeah, actually it's homemade. He made it. Uh, BFAP made oh, this. Oh, nice. Yeah, we just literally made this. Full homemade trailer. Yeah. Yeah, you got the setup. You got your luggage in there. Yes. You're ready to go. Have to. I mean, there's nowhere else you can put it in the <laughs> no MR2. <way. laughs> I don't have a trunk anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. Came out really good. Congrats. Thank awesome you, thank to you. see you out here. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate everything you guys do for the, for the community, too. Yeah, I love seeing my. Honestly, I, I, I built this car because I saw your video. I saw the um, the one that everyone saw, the, the green one that was racing all the yeah, like the, 10 years the 1320 ago, video. 1320, that then, one, that video inspired me to me build my too, MR2. And then I started looking for one, and I was gonna do either all wheel drive EG or then I found the shell, and then I saw your videos, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go this route. That's awesome, and man. I'm actually happy I did. Glad to see it out here. Thank you, buddy. You're making me miss having a streetable MR2. That's what mine was supposed to be. Maybe I'll have to build the second one. All right, cool. Awesome. Or I'll just throw a hitch on the NSX. We'll call it good. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I would only trade this for an NSX. If I were to get rid of this, it would be a K-Swap NSX. Who would have thought we'd see Brown here wiring up GTRs? <laughs> Somebody. How you doing? Good. How you doing? You excited? Yeah, this is awesome. It's good to see you. I mean, me and Brent already uh, met off camera. He came to the house. Yeah. We also had to dispose of a dead raccoon. Yeah, I'm Brent, sure. I took Brent, care of that. Brent did that for Brent us. That. I mean, we had a dead raccoon in our outhouse for like three days, and Brent's like, I got you guys. Yeah. They're not going to leave that until Brent gets here. <laughs> it was mad. We took care of it. Appreciate it. Yeah. And now, yeah, you're out here working on this GTR. You guys just did the cage in this thing. Yeah, I just did the cage, and we're, uh, we're learning all about G sensors and orientation right now. That's what we're like we're the learning. whole car got taken apart it's like the wiring and everything there's a bunch of g sensors and yaw sensors and stuff that have lots of like fancy perfect. stuff they got to be the right direction and if they're to the side or whatever it doesn't work right so we're chasing that right now what are you doing right now that's, that, that's, that's part of it stuff, yeah. nice and you're his partner yep yeah, we'll be partnered this week and uh our, we got a seven second goal so hopefully we can figure this all out okay, nice so. Oh well, yeah. On 8 at Vandermeer, so it's possible. It's right there. Yeah. Got right some good air down here to do it, too. So this GTR belongs to a guy named Trevor, and Brent is his co-pilot for the week. That's it. Are you guys going to come to the house afterwards, I'm sure, once it's all said and done? You guys I, hanging out for at least a day, we, or are you just shooting right back? Not. We might have to shoot Every back. time, well, guys. Help something. me clean out one dead raccoon, and then you leave. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we got an appointment for trailer stuff on the way home. Yeah, you, so we were supposed to bring the other Tesla down, but Jamie had to sell his other trailer, yeah. so we'll have to wait on that. Yeah, so we were yeah we're gonna take care of all that, but we'll see what happens. It's gonna be cool. a long week. It's only Monday, so we don't know what's gonna happen Friday. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, good luck. It's good seeing you. Great to see you. Cool to see you working on a GTR. Yeah. This Not is your awesome. typical Honda stuff. Not no, but kind of the same, but becoming a honda slowly i'm learning it's cut I'm in out school like right now no and brennan probably has a honda tps on there or something <laughs> <Don't tell him. laughs> all right guys we got the flat and sea in line getting ready to make our first pass of the day here she is fully topped off with charge we did tech to go a 10-0 and slower so the roll bar was definitely the move but we are not allowed to go anywhere into the nines so i'm going to launch it like normal i'm not going to put it in dragster mode or anything like that and then we will just coast to the end and hopefully she's in the 10 somewhere and not too fast. And we're looking for a one and done pass here. We'll run our race and then we gotta get this thing loaded up and hit the road because today is one of the longer driving days. So we wanna get a head start just in case we do have to stop and charge this thing along the way. We have a four and a half hour drive, about 230 miles to go. So we're gonna go ahead, make our run and we'll see if we're gonna stay around to watch Wyatt race as well in the Corolla because he's in the group behind us. But with how many cars that need to run today, you know, we might have him film separately. Me and Nick might need to get out of here just to make sure that we can make it all right. So we'll kind of see how it goes, but we're getting ready to move up right now. So we're going to make our first pass. Not driving this year? No, just hanging out this year. Man, I'm really missing Chip right now. I know. That was your potential. You potentially was, needed it. If that was my chariot. <laughs> that thing was my chariot, dude. Yeah, I forgot that that was your hot rod, dude. Now I figured I'd just tail some people if they needed help, maybe offer my shop at Bradenton, get home at a reasonable hour for the wife and kids. Yep, you got the baby now, so. Freaking be an adult, dude. You have know, to go dad mode. Sale. 
So. Hey, well, I got a minivan if you need one. I do need a minivan. I was just talking to Bronte about it. And she said she didn't like minivans. Mm. I like that this one has sliding doors, too. A yeah, true they, minivan. Might, they might not slide anymore, but we, we could make it work. It's got sliding doors. <laughs> Good to see you out here, though. Yeah, man, I'm pumped to see this thing make a pass. All right, boys. Kyle's pulling up to do his first pass here. Looks like he's going to be lining up against this Camaro over here. All right, guys, first pass. We're going up against this Camaro with a parachute on it. We'll see if we can take him down in the Platyce, let off at the end, and not go too fast. safe we did a 1061 a 101 on the brakes we're good to go boys one and done there you go, go ahead get loaded up i just saw why getting ready to go up in line so we might wait on him we might just plug this thing just to let it top off for that extra 15 miles worth of range since there's a tesla charger here maybe grab some food and if wyatt runs we'll stay around for that because i do want to see him run the corolla obviously and then we will hit the road but we're good to go there yeah. nice yeah. and easy ready to run this thing today yeah, man, if we ever get up there. First time down the track, yeah, they have had quite a few delays and why is in the D group, which is yeah. after us, and they have yet to be called up. So it's definitely gonna be a while before yeah. you're it's up there. Two in the afternoon, we've gone through like 15 cars in the C group or D group. Not looking ideal, but we're getting ready. We got the slicks on this thing. Yeah. Hey, those are some eight second <laughs> slicks, dude. Yeah, I'm about to take them down here at about 14 seconds, about 90 <laughs> miles an hour. Keep and, those axles uh, alive, keep that rear end in one piece. Yep. Hopefully not overheat these brakes or the engine or any other number of things that could possibly go wrong with <laughs> this thing. But yeah, we'll see what it does this first rip. And uh, really, I'm not trying to set the world on fire. So as long as it goes down the track, I'll be happy. Nice. And I'm getting ready to get out of here because there's a good chance me and Nick are going to have to sit at a charger for quite some time. And I'm sure these guys will catch up to us by the time we finally get to the next location. And we just don't know how long this is going to take. So we're going to take the safer bet here and get on out of here and if we do get there hopefully we can maybe save a better spot for you guys and kind of go from there for tomorrow yep. i mean you guys got a four hour ride anyway so good luck to you yeah we'll see you eventually <laughs> see how it goes and then yep. wyatt's partner lee is right over there i'm gonna leave you guys with the camcorder get sounds his good. uh down the track shot see how it goes and we'll meet up with you guys a little later sounds good so y'all have fun keep the boys in the loop keep them updated how it goes yeah i'll let you know i read a 15-0 do <laughs> not worry we'll see you later yeah see good you luck and now we're back in the pits. Good job, boys. Now we went a 14-4, something like that. Eased it out of the hole, very soft. Actually, I was pretty surprised. It left fairly decent, just slow. And uh, the car is alive. You know, we didn't break an axle. I'm gonna pop the hood, make sure we didn't leak no fluids. Didn't break an oil cooler. And we're good to go. Didn't even overheat, like 185. So I think we're good, man. We need to uh, just check over a couple little things, pack up, hit the road because we're gonna get there late as hell. So let's get to it. Disney Cruises. Yeah. It's 
We just made it to the first checkpoint of Sick Week over here at this Exploration Tower. There's a ton of cruise ships in this area. Really cool, we got all these guys lining up behind us. We just got our picture for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and move along, let these guys get their pictures as well. It's off to the next one. We have two checkpoints today and then the third ending us at the Freedom Factory. Pulling up on the second checkpoint over here at Bizarro's famous New York pizza, and we are pretty hungry. Oh, yeah. So, we're probably gonna grab a couple slices. But first, we're gonna go over here, get our picture. What did you guys do for time? We did 10 6. 10 6? Yep. Woo. Not too bad for a minivan. Oh, yeah, this place was the move. You take a bite out of that one, the meat stuffed pizza. Look at that thing. Mm. What do you give her? For a stuffed pizza, I'd give that a 8.3. Pretty solid. Really solid. This one I'd probably give a 8.5. You're definitely pretty burnt. It looks, your face looks so red in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need some aloe, bro. factory to come hit this uh, supercharger I guess you could call it this isn't a Tesla brand supercharger but this is a EV go station and these have what they call a CSS or a CCS uh, plug and I have a adapter that goes from that CCS plug to the Tesla one right here all we got to do is clip this guy on like so and this guy will charge just as fast if not faster actually than a lot of the Tesla superchargers it goes up to 350 kilowatts an hour you know, I don't even know what that number means exactly, but it's a ton of juice being pumped into this battery and the car is pretty low right now, but if we wait here for about 45 minutes, she'll be tippy topped off. I don't know if we're gonna wait that long because we do wanna meet up with Sea boys but uh, we're at least gonna pump in a nice good charge here while we go inside, grab some snacks, use the bathroom, all that good stuff. So I just gotta open the charge port, set it up on my phone and we'll be good to go. All right, we are charging. We're gonna go ahead and run inside real quick, but just wanted to show you guys how fast these freaking chargers go. It's still climbing right now, but it is at 226 kilowatts. 
and we are getting 768 miles an hour worth of charge and it's only been plugged in for a couple minutes now and we've already gained 28 miles back of range so this thing is ripping you can see that number slowly climbing up but as the charge starts to go higher that number does start to taper off as you get more and more charged but we'll be good to go after we just hang out here for a little bit and we can hit the road and just like that maybe 20 25 minutes tops we have already gained 211 miles and we have 240 miles worth of range and that is good enough we'll take it let's get back to the freedom factory we're about an hour away so finish off the drive for day one of sick week so before we end off our night at the freedom factory we're meeting up here with the sea boys out here in mexico get a little uh, test doing ride. some shenanigans yeah. with the platys yeah i hear these guys wanted to check it out before they flew back home and uh, i guess yes, ken's going up first yes, i guess heard Let's you're a big it. tesla guy yeah loves Let's them. get you in there absolutely loves them it might rub a little bit well we'll give you guys drag strip mode <laughs> right back there ben hold yep. on buddy be holding on <laughs> You know, like the hopped up one, he wouldn't yeah. how much horsepower it has, but it's fast. And that was crazier than that. <laughs> and it's a mini bit. <laughs> I know. Dude. It's, it's so weird having so much space and going so fast. <laughs> yeah, this feels way faster. It might be the fact that I'm sitting in between roll cages right now with no I think the on. sketchiness of it also makes it <laughs> yeah. extremely fast feeler. That is so crazy, dude. Dude, where'd that dent come from? I don't you know. know. That's one of those ones we should have probably reported before we left the lot. This is the saddest takeover I've ever seen. <laughs> What'd you guys think? Man, congratulations, dude. This is the greatest sleeper ever built. That's what, that's what let's coin it as that, greatest sleeper ever I, built. I never thought I would call a Honda Odyssey cool in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> uh, well, it was cool hanging out with you guys. Right, we'll, uh, we'll have to link again. Yeah, we'll for come sure. To Florida, so any excuse to come to Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you know where to find us. To do it, so. We'll do it again. Three yeah, for sure. Nice later. seeing you guys. See you boys later. We made it to the final stop of the night. We are here at the Freedom Factory. And there is my charger. I'm pretty sure Cletus installed this just for me because I definitely use it the most. Well, guys, day one of Sick Week is in the books. Made it to the Freedom Factory here last night. We got the Plasti fully charged up, and Wyatt made it right behind us about an hour and a half later. And he's going to be getting here a little bit later since he is in D Group. He has some time to sleep in because I know they were up pretty late. But we are getting ready to go take our picture at the Freedom Factory, go take our lap, and that will be the final checkpoint. And then we can go ahead and get ready for Bradenton. So we are going to end off this video here. I'm actually really surprised with how the Platys he did. The range is actually really good on these things. You know, I've never actually popped in a Tesla and just like road tripped it to really see what it's about, but it really wasn't too bad at all. We left on the same charge from the track that we actually ran the pass on so we didn't even charge it after that and i actually forgot to turn my time slip in and we drove about eight miles away from the track and had to drive back so that killed a little bit as well so we easily could have made it here all in one go so that's really good to see i'm very confident that we will make it through this trip with hopefully no issues the very last day is going to be the longest stretch so that's when we you know might need that generator to come in handy because the chargers are a little more scarce out towards uh georgia as well but that's going to do it for this video guys we will see you in the next one